Hello, Divine Masculines and Divine Femmes. Um, God bless, and I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, I'm here again in 2 Corinthians uh, 4, and um, I just want to talk to you guys about something or whatever. Um, a lot of people, they get the misunderstanding about this journey. God is God is the divine he called us to this spiritual journey to awaken us for our soul call purpose for him. Again, I'm going to state everyone that's on this journey is not of light and is not on a spiritual journey. Um again, if you go if you guys go and read, I mean go and look at my other video, I spoke about that also that um Satan has a way of making himself appear to be of light, of God, and of the divine. God is the divine. If you go throughout the word in his Bible, in the spiritual journey we're on, this spirit was given, inserted into uh, our bodies from God, from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he's getting up, he's trying to get a lot of us to awaken to the fact, you know, and, you know, get us healed from things that have happened so that we can be used for his, for God's purpose, for um, his kingdom. Because the time is coming near where it's going to get extremely bad. I mean, it's evil. Now and things are happening, but if you don't know God, I recommend that you get to know him. And all you have to do by that is asking God to forgive you for your sins, that you don't know him. You ask him to come inside your heart and uh, you don't know him, but you would like to get to know him. And you tell him, to, you know, again, I can't say that, you know, tell him, uh, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, um, I'm a sinner. I don't know you and I would like to get to know you. I ask you to come inside my heart and fill me up with your spirit. Fill me up with whom you have called me to be. And so, Lord, I don't want to have any other gods but you in my life. Show me if I have lifted up my soul to an idol, my desires to serve you and only you. Help me to live accordingly. Some of these people on this journey or whatever, like, you know, they can't get themselves together. And, you know, they're codependent still and they never received love, you know, in the home and different things happen. And maybe they were adopted and maybe they're feeling empty and maybe they're feeling a sense of void. And I know about that void. But I'm asking you, Twin Flames, if you are really true Twin Flames sent from heaven that have been chosen from God. And again, 2 Corinthians, I'm on it for spiritual treasures in clay jars. God, with his mercy, give, gave us this works to do. So we don't give up, but we have turned away from secrets and shameful ways. We don't use trickery and we don't change the teaching of God. We teach we teach the truth plainly. This is how we show people who we are and this is how they can know in their hearts and what what kind of people we are before God. The God the good news that we tell people may be hidden, but it is hitting only to those who are lost. The ruler of this world has blinded, blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They cannot see the light of the good news. The, the message about the divine greatness of Christ. Christ is the one who exactly who is exactly like God. We don't tell people about ourselves 
but we tell people that Jesus Christ is Lord and we tell tell them that we are your servants for Jesus. God once said, let light shine out of the darkness. And this is this is the same God who made the light shine in our hearts to let us know that his own divine greatness is seen in the face of Christ. Guys, you know, it's a lot of people and they're leading people astray and you know, the enemy, he have people worshiping gods and false gods. And I believe on this journey that it's thousands of them. And, you know, you people come to uh, the twin flame journey and you're looking for a love that you'll never have. You might, you know, end up with a partner, but it's still not going to be what you're thinking or whatever, regardless to what you end up, to, regardless to if you're seeking after a partner and you don't love God and you don't love yourself, you're on the wrong road path. You seek after God first and then you seek after loving yourself and then God shows us how to love others and then he bring you your spiritual partner. And your spiritual partner and the things about this twin flame journey is all in God's word, divine from divine to to reconciliation to um, departing to everything. The spiritual realm, it's all in God's word, guys. And I recommend for everyone to seek Him first. You know, you guys come. I don't want to lead you guys astray or anything like that. And I'm not stepping on anyone's toes. You know, people have different reasons for why they're in this room. And my reason is God, he brought me here. Honest to God truth. I started seeing 11, 11, two and a half years ago. And that's when I met the guy that I assumed to be my, my twin flame. But you never know. You never know. And, you know, I left all of that behind because I don't want to worship idols. I don't want to, you know, at first when I came on this journey, and it's a so-called uh, spiritual uh, purpose journey that God has called and chose us to be on. And I don't want to be deceiving myself or whatever with lies and what other people have to tell me. If you're really a really, really true spiritual twin flame God, he give you downloads. He show you things. Uh, since uh, chronicities, all of that, you know, you'll get it all. You'll get it all if you are a true twin flame spiritual uh, person that's been called to this journey. And, you know, 